Senior cornerback Derek Tyndall grew up less than an hour away from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, the site of tonight's Orange Bowl matchup between the Badgers and the Hurricanes. News 3's Melissa Kim shares the story of the Tyndall family and how Derek's career has come full circle. Four years has meant much more than football for the Tyndall family. Most people don't get it. When they get away, you now go to the right place, but I did. But more than 1,500 miles away from home, Derek found a new family and teammates during his freshman year after his mom passed away from cancer. Sometimes I would call him and he wouldn't feel my phone calls. He wouldn't pick up. So I know what he was going through. A big part with Melvin, he reached out to me when I was going through it. You no, know, the guys just showed me like they was there for me. But you know, I told him he had to keep pushing, keep pushing because that's something she would have wanted. Derek did just that, but with a leader by his side. Just coming here, you know, going through what I went through all four years, and you know, having Coach Christian there with me, it's helped me become a better man. You know, and not just on the field, but everywhere else. We ran across one lady. She never interacted with none of the football players. She said, and she worked at the stadium over ten years. She said, but Derek was the first, and he's contagious. Oh, we know. You know I'm dropping sauce, man. <laughs> Say he's like the player that you just can't get out of your mind, and that makes you feel good as a parent. So you believe that you're sending them off to do things the right way. So I, I felt like uh, at that point, you know, I sent him off, and he's doing something to affect people's lives. I think I have did the right thing. Now Derek will make his 28th consecutive start for the Badgers, a journey that started 1,500 miles away but has come full circle, one that makes his father beam with pride. I always were proud of Derek, but this is to the point where, you know, with all the adversities he's went through, I, the kid's great. I can't say much more about him now. In South Florida, Melissa Kim, News 3 Sports.